Welcome, friends. So in this uh, class together, we're working on some practices that will help pacify vata. Vata, and according to Ayurveda, vata is the dosha that's made up of air and ether. And clearly, if you live in a place in the world where you experience seasons, this time from fall into early winter is really high, it's vata season. You'll probably notice that things start to, the wind might be a little more windy. You might feel the wind moving through you, moving through your home. Uh, there's that slight little coolness to the air. Things are a little bit more crisp and dry. So if you look at some trees and plants outside in nature, you might see that they're, they're starting to dry up. They're starting to lose that, um, that really sweet kind of juiciness to them, right? Even the leaves, the leaves on the trees are getting a little more crispy. If you step on a leaf, it makes a sound. And uh, our bodies start to do that. Our bodies start to feel similar if we're not somehow pacifying vata as we move through vata season. So in your yoga practice, try, try if you can to not only slow things down just a little teeny bit, but just move a little bit more mindfully. Sometimes when we're moving really quick, we might not notice that, you know, that shoulder's creaking or cracking or that old ankle injury is kind of acting up again. We just move through it just to get through it. Vata season is a nice time to really notice that space between the poses. Really notice how it feels to maybe move a little bit of a different way in each pose. It doesn't have to be super slow, super smooth, but it's an invitation to actually find grounding find some fluidity without getting caught up in it, right? Because Vata's got that air element that can take us away really quickly. So we'll start with our legs crossed. And if it doesn't feel comfor comfortable for you to sit like this, you could sit up on something, you could sit however you need to sit, but sit in a way where your seat, your sitting bones are touching down evenly on something. Take your palms onto your thighs and flip your palms up. And then if it feels comfortable for you to close your eyes, Start to close your eyes. And just start to breathe in through your nose and then breathe out through your nose if you're not already breathing like that. As you inhale through your nose, find the beginning, middle, end of your inhale. As you exhale, find the beginning, middle, end of the breath out. Breathing in, beginning, middle, end. Breathe out, beginning, middle, end. Open up your eyes and come into a child's pose. I like to start child's pose from all fours, bringing the big toes to touch and then taking a seat back onto the heels. Relax the weight of your head, release the weight of your head down and Notice the parts of your body that are connected to the earth, that are connected to the floor, to your yoga mat. And then breathe deep in through the nose, fill up the low back, mid back, upper back, shoulders. Exhale, shoulders, mid back, upper back, relax the weight of your head. Come out onto your hands and your knees, spread through the fingers, spread through the toes. And then from here, kick your right leg back behind you. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, round through your spine like a cat spine. Draw the knee to your nose. Scoop your navel in and up. Breathe in. Extend your leg back. Exhale. Knee to nose. Round through your spine. Inhale. Kick your leg back. Exhale. Knee to nose. Round through your spine. Lower your knee and extend the left leg back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Knee to nose. Round through your spine. Inhale. Extend your leg back. Exhale. Knee to nose. Round in. Last time, inhale, extend your leg back. Exhale, the knee to your nose, and then just take your knee down right next to your right one. Spread through the fingers. Separate your knees and your feet about hips width apart. Walk your hands a few inches forward so you can tuck your toes. Lift your knees. Downward facing dog. Hips will come high. And then you might bend your knees, spread through the fingers. Rock your hips side to side. Pedal through your feet if that feels good. On an in-breath, reach your right leg high, being mindful of your breath. Exhale your right foot forward next to your right thumb. Still staying engaged through your abdominals, reach your right arm up and peel open to your right. Take your right arm and then reach back like you want to touch whatever's behind you. Sweep your arm down, circle it back up again. 
and then move through a few rounds of this at your own pace. You might go a little quicker, you might go a little slower, but just moving the shoulder around, especially if you've been sitting down all day or if you've just been feeling really dry, if you've been feeling a little bit uh, like your thoughts are all over the place, get things moving here and then switch the direction of your circles. Lower your right hand down, any amount lengthen through your light, right leg, re-bend your right knee, peek forward. Lengthen through your leg. Rebend your knee. Keep your gaze forward. Re-extend your right leg. Step your back foot to meet your front foot. And if it feels good this early on for you to interlace your fingers behind you, interlace your fingers. Reach your knuckles up, your head low. Sometimes it may even feel good to bend your knees a little bit and get that connection of the heart closer to the legs. Lower your hands, come out to a flat back, halfway lift, breathe in. Mm, fold deeper into yourself as you breathe out. Draw your right foot back to a low lunge, inhale. Downward facing dog with your exhale. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale your left foot forward next to your left thumb. Again, if it doesn't make it there, give it a little bit of help. Then sweep your left arm up, peel open to your left. Take your arm, just like what we did on the other side, reach back, down, and forward. And wherever it feels right for you to look, look in that direction. If it feels nice to kind of look a little forward with the eyes, to lengthen through the sides of the neck, go for that. And then switch directions of the circles. Lower your left hand down, step foot, uh, actually lengthen through both legs. Any amount, it's all right if this knee needs to be bent a little bit. And then re-bend your front knee. Lengthen through your legs. Re-bend your front knee. Re-extend your legs. Step forward. Back foot meets front foot. If that interlacing of the fingers feels good, do it again, but put the opposite set of fingers in front. Lower your hands. Come out to a halfway lift. Look away from yourself. Breathe in. Fold back into yourself as you empty out. Step your left foot back, low lunge, inhale. Downward facing dog with your exhale back. Come forward, plank pose, breathe in. Hug your elbows in, exhale all the way to the earth. Untuck your toes, roll your shoulders back, lift your heart, baby cobra. Tuck your toes, press back, downward facing dog. Super duper slowly now, walk your feet all the way up to the top of your space. And then once you arrive here, no rush. You might shake your head yes and no. Tuck your chin into your chest and roll yourself all the way up to stand. Your head will be the last thing to lift. And being aware of the strength of the core of the abdominals is so important in any yoga practice, but especially around vata season or if you're feeling like vata is just high for you, really connecting to the core, connecting to our center, can be really grounding, even though the core is not clearly on the ground. It's a really powerful space, and if we're solid here, we can move things around in a more freeing way where we're not getting lost in a shoulder or lost in a leg. So I invite you to connect to your abdominals as we move through a few rounds of Surya Namaskar. Breathe in, sweep both arms up. Breathe out, forward fold. Inhale your right foot back, low lunge. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Plank pose, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Reach your right leg high, breathe in. Breathe out, step your right foot forward. Inhale your right arm up, peel open. Lower your hand, step forward as you fold into your legs. Arms sweep up on your breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot back, low lunge, breathe in. Downward dog with your breath out. Plank pose, inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Upward facing dog, lift your heart. And then tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Breathe in, reach your left leg up. Breathe out, step your left foot forward. On an inhale, lift your left arm high. Lower your hand, step forward, fold into your legs. Arms rise as you rise, breathe in. Breathe out, forward fold. Draw your right foot back, low lunge. Press back, downward facing dog. Plank pose, inhale. 
chaturanga exhale breathe in upward facing breathe out downward facing dog inhale your right leg high exhale your right foot forward lift your right arm up as you peel open lower your hand step forward fold into your legs inhale your arms up rise breathe out forward fold send your left foot back to a low lunge with your inhale downward facing dog big exhale plank pose breathe in chaturanga breathe out inhale upward facing exhale back downward facing dog reach your left leg high breathe in breathe out step your left foot forward inhale your left arm up lower your hands step forward fold into your legs breathe in arms rise breathe out forward fold draw your right foot back to your low lunge on your inhale downward facing dog as you exhale plank pose breathe chaturanga remember you could skip these if you need to up dogs your inhale in down dogs your exhale out bend both knees look between your thumbs step or jump your feet to your hands halfway lift look away fold deeper in sweep your arms up as you rise up tip back into your legs draw your left foot back to a low lunge inhale downward facing dog with your exhale plank pose inhale chaturanga breathe out breathe in urdhva mukha upward dog breathe out downward facing dog bend your knees see your thumbs lightly step or you can jump your feet forward halfway lift look away fold forward sweep your arms up high rise up exhale back into your legs prepare to jump to chaturanga or you might step to plank plant your palms if you're jumping land on bent elbows and then up dogs your breath in down dogs your breath out from downward facing with your right leg high step your foot forward between your thumbs turn your back heel down come on up to warrior one really feel the back foot grounding bend your front knee and interlace your fingers behind you lift your heart press into the outer edge of your back foot with an open chest here tip forward devotional or humble warrior lower your hands around your front foot turn the back heel up lower your back knee down on tuck your toes and encourage your hips forward send your heart forward of the toes tuck your back toes lift your knee and lengthen through both legs from here we bend the knee peek forward lengthen your legs and fold rebend your knee and peek forward lengthen your legs and fold rebend your knee plant your palms press back downward dog when you're ready lift your left leg up step your left foot forward turn your back heel down engage your abdominals as you reach both arms up for that warrior one sometimes especially if you're a really dedicated vinyasa yoga practitioner we just move through these poses maybe we hold them one breath maybe even three for right now see what it feels like to almost move a little forward and back feel where your center is can you engage your core a little bit more reach your arms up high maybe there's a little more lightness through your chest and then interlace your fingers behind you to forward it's a devotional warrior folding forward into your front leg try to press into the outer edge of that back foot notice what's happening with your left hip move the left hip back a bit in space and then lower both hands down turn the back heel up as you lower your back knee on tuck your back toes encourage the hips forward spread through your collarbones tuck your back toes take your time lengthen through both legs rebend your front knee breathe in lengthen through both breathe out rebend your front knee plant your palms really spread through your fingers tip back downward facing dog you can definitely stay here or you may inhale forward plank exhale chaturanga up dog lift your heart spread through the collarbones 
Tuck your toes downward facing. Take your knees to the ground. Have a seat back into a child's pose. Relax your head. You might even flip your palms up here. Sometimes it feels really good just to have the backs of the hands down and the palms exposed. And then from wherever you're at, come back up onto your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes downward facing dog. And we'll meet up at the front of the mat. You might take some steps there. Even if you are if you love jumping forward, you might even just take some steps right now just to feel the earth underneath your feet with each step forward. However you've gotten here, though, bring your feet to touch. Bend your knees. Lift your arms for Utkatasana. Prayer your palms. Take a twist to your right. So we're staying here. This is our twist that we'll be doing. You might stay and maybe bend your knees a little more. Maybe the left hip drives a little bit further back in space. Send the crown of your head forward. And then sweep your arms up as you rise up on that breath in. Bend the knees, prayer your palms, twist over to your left. Make sure you breathe out. Be mindful of that right hip. You might move that back in space just a bit. Spread through your toes. And then forward fold. Halfway lift, look away. Tip a little bit deeper in. Plant your palms and step back to a plank pose. Send your hips high into your downward facing dog. Lower your knees to the ground. Crawl the knees a bit forward so you can sit back now. We'll meet in a baddha konasana. Soles of the feet can come together, sit tall. Either stay up or walk your hands forward. Slowly rise back up. Bring your feet in front of you. Bring your hands behind you. Inhale, big lift of the heart. Lift your chest. Breathe in. Exhale your breath away. Lower your seat. And find that comfortable seat that we had at the very beginning of class. So you might sit up on something. You might maybe sit with your legs crossed like I'm doing. And we'll move through a few rounds of Nadi Shodana breathing, alternate nostril breathing. This is a really, really empowering, beautiful breath that just helps rebalance the two hemispheres of the brain. Helps balance out the right side, the left side, the hot, the cold. Anytime that we might feel a little frenetic or like there is a little too much air and ether running through us or just around us, uh, this can be a very grounding practice. And this is a really sweet practice for, for all the doshas, for all the seasons. So take your hand, take your pointer finger and your middle finger, and then just drop them towards your palm. Take your right hand, close off your right nostril, breathe in through the left. Close off the left nostril with your ring finger, exhale through the right. Breathe in through your right. Close it off with your thumb. Exhale through the left. Breathe in through the left. Close it off with your ring finger. Exhale through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close it off with your thumb. Exhale, left. Breathe in, left. Close it off with your ring finger. Exhale through the right. Breathe in through your right. Close it off. As you exhale through your left, release your hand down. Take a few moments to just breathe in and out through both nostrils. And the next few moments are totally up to you. If you are in a place right now where you can take Shavasana, if you can lie on your back with your eyes closed for a few moments, I uh, invite you to do that. You might even put on a song that you love, a really kind of sweet Shavasana song for about five minutes. 
If you'd like, you might even move through a few more rounds of this alternate nostril breathing that I just led you through. Or if you're so grounded and so good to go, you can stop right here. You can end your class right here. And we'll breathe in together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Draw the palms together. Namaste.